Welcome, Wastelanders, back to Alan Wake Remastered. So, last time we left off, it might look a bit different with the thing, because obviously I'm further in the game now. And I didn't realise this the, the screen changes, which is pretty cool. So last time we left off, we uh, got a weird phone call from Alice. It was weird. And I'm going to say this now, because I, um, I do say it in this video, but it was also left as a comment on uh, my last video. Yeah, the running in Alan Wake is terrible. And like I said it in the comment when I replied that least of evil within the running was terrible but the upgrade screen used to tell you so it'd be like oh yeah you can run up for 15 seconds or 16 seconds this is rubbish like the f I, I, I said I keep I cut out a lot when I was obviously when I search and stuff but running is terrible you run for like a minute a second and it then this fucking 50 year old fat wake is like fuck this I can't run no more so it's easy just to not run because it takes so long to run but yes but also as well before we get into this um i had an issue with my recording so i didn't really say it much in the thing but it will start off and it will be it'll be like past time future time doesn't matter uh, what happened was is i i split an episode because it was too long it was over two hours and i deleted the I had the audio but i deleted the um the video part so i had to re-record which is fine it didn't really bother me too much i just had to play through a lot of the crap like the rose part again and uh, um i had to get up to where the past on recorded so i had to play through the mines in it anyway doesn't matter we enough of that jazz and i'm retiring to october we're now pretty much nearly christmas it's the 28th i recorded all this on the 5th of november so all this like i said a bulk record i recorded this is now the 28th and shocktober uncle's dead i'm just gonna i'm gonna record a new outro as well it's all going to be just Alan Wake. So the first couple, yeah, Chris, uh, Halloween, blah, 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 it doesn't matter. So, yes. But anyway, <laughs> let's take it away to past Tom, future Tom, loads of different Toms in this. Doesn't matter. Let's turn the page, read the next chapter in Alan Wake Remastered. Ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, welcome back to Alan Wake. Here's a weird one for you. My recording of the last part effed up now since i know this is going to be a new video this is going to be a new part i've had to re-record where i am so i've had to play for the horrible rose part which you can't skip by the way and then i'm um, where we are now I've just had the phone call of alice there was a little baby manuscript there and we saw it and i was like this is gonna be good i'm gonna read it but the problem is as i'll show you is that because I have played this game already, when I go pick it up, it doesn't tell me which one it is, and I don't remember. Now, I could Google it, I probably should, and then we can get it up and ready. Ah, that was easy, wasn't it? I just uh, got myself the old Googlings and found out which one it was. So this one is entitled, Wake Attacked by a Possessed Object. Where is it? No, it's wake attacked by a possessed object. There we go. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Lovely. So yes, it's a weird one. I'll, I'll keep doing that. I hate doing that all the time. So it's a weird one. I, I haven't see got a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I okay. hoped I could find a car from there. Okay, wait. Uh, yeah, I've done this already, which is a bit weird. It's just what happened was my um, it wasn't my audio. It's just it just mucked up the actual recording. I don't know why. It just did. So I've got actual scared again, you know. The only beauty of it is that um, the oh, that was pursuing me was growing stronger. Is that I don't have to search for coffee mugs, I suppose. Yeah, we get attacked here by random crap. Come on, I don't want to be doing this. Oh yeah, come away. 
Let me learn. Let me learn. Fucking bulldozer. Ah. Ah. <laughs> now I can't remember. Now, I've got it. I've got a list of manuscript pages now, but I, I just can't remember which it is. So I'm just gonna, when they come up, I'm gonna read the next one. And if it's right, it's right. If it's not, it's not. So what? This one, this one. Now should be. I'm going to assume it's this one because this one says it's 43 and this one says this one says 41 so this must be 42. I the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's very strange. Like this one has like all the names, and then like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we gotta continue on. As a teenager, just started to get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. Oh, no one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but the darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this bit might be a bit rushed, but it's only because I've done it. And he goes like, well, but we ain't seen it. I know that, but it's like... Sometimes you, you, you're done it, so you don't really need to do it again. I know which is what is shit and what's not. Hello, mates. I did it. But there you go. No. There you go, mate. Get off of here. Get away with you. It tells me as well, like where the ones in the nightmare are, and it's like I missed one already, which is. Nightmare. That's my fault! No, bro. That's our order. I ain't got any flashbangs or a flare gun. Please. I I'm just a simple man. Answering an ad for a housekeeping job. That's all I'm doing. You squirrely man. Um. There you go. Can't get me. God, touch me, mate. I'm on a fucking different level, me. You can't touch me. Hello. I'm just a simple man answering the call that is of house keeping.
Hey, give me some flares. I have some flares. Why? There's a TV here. Obviously, we've got to watch it. This is like the really creepy one as well. The facts of our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion, covering the vast cosmos of madness and horror. Come on, there we go. All too often, the stars are right. In night springs. I'm trying to position it so you can see the TV the best. But there we go. episode, a family occasion. This is a really weird one. Durless trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durless, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Did I really? Of course, Mr. Durley. Well, at <laughs> least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, I... <laughs> He's like, mm, oh, this is nice. I'm fucking happy, me. Oh, Mr. Dwarf, you have well pleased Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. Your body shall host a thousand young, and I shall be glory. Yep, he did say a thousand young. Night Springs. Yes, yeah, a weird one that one. Oh, manuscript page. What one's this one gonna be? I presume it's gonna be um next one, which should be this one. Oh, you talk about dark presence? Yes. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet lead the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Mahuma huma. Is this? Yeah, I know what this is. I know what this is. Fucking move, you stupid ass fucking barrels. Give me that. I'll take that now. Give me that revolver. Guess what this one is, mate? Bulldozer. Which is not really a bulldozer, I think it's a bit wrong. I'd say it's more of a digger. Wouldn't you? More of a digger. Oh, fucking can. Come on! Oh! Mate, I did this first time last time, I swears. Well, I was just gonna run. Because the base keep running, running, and running, running! I got you! There we go. What are you playing, mate? I don't know what that's for. No! So I fought, mate. Yeah, I did that first time last time. And I didn't have all the other the knob ends. Oh well. Tears what it is. Come on. Maybe I can get this as well. Why that opening? I'll get this stuff. I think it's just flares and 
Bon, ouais, moi. Et... Flèze, amour, amour. Oui, tonne ni de do. Look, ok. And a checkpoint. Glorious. Glorious. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The coal mine wasn't far now. I, I, I don't know what to say about this, this place. Because it's just... I would meet the kidnapper and he would give me Alice. That, that whole section there was just really stupid because it's just like, I would meet the kidnapper. And then the section of da 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 you know, oh, okay. Didn't give him any other choice. A oh, okay. man will clutch at a straw. Cool. <laughs> you know? <laughs> right, now, I, this one, I do have it. Little by little, without realizing it. But I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Cool, we're gonna leave the cup. Uh. Yeah, so the bridge is out, you're supposed to drive around and drive down the aisle. But there's, there's fucking cars everywhere. So that's fine. It's all good. Alan Wick. Alan Wick. Alan Wick. Alan Wick. Alan Wick. Checkpoint reached. What do we have in here? Radio. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I yeah. was fucking insane. restricted my, my video. I encountered a big shot G Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but. I'm just so peeved right now. Some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, no, oh, we run away from the music. We don't want that music. Na 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 Um, yeah. So, but I I really enjoyed that. When when I listened to it the first time, and I'll say again what I said that time, is that it's good how like he's even calling out like Nightingale for just being a fucking asshole for like shooting a civilian. Like, like I'm, I'm the fact that he they detained him as well from it. Because he like was having a go at the can, you know, it's ridiculous. You know, he was popping off in front of civvies. You know, it wasn't like Alan Wake was even using the dude as a shield. He was literally just uh, was stopping because there is uh, more radio up there. Uh, it's not like Alan Wake was like using Pat as a shield. He was just was legit talking to him. Was gonna ask him for directions, but not again. Was like, no, 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 fuck that, pop, pop, pow. You know. Ting, the tingle, that thing, you know, and it's just shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like leave the man alone. This one's really informative as well. Um, uh, I'll, I'm gonna say what my opinion afterwards, but this is quite a good uh, thing, especially now as well. Like this is quite a good radio session, considering like in the news, you know, I, you know, we've been the loneliest ever pre-COVID, uh, yeah, post-COVID. 
Now, a lot of people saying how they spend a lot of their disposable income now trying to, like, socialise and make friends more so now than anything else because of... And it's quite um, poignant, hit a point, you know, that I'll, I will make it once after it's said. That um, sounds a bit garbled, but let's just listen to it and you can listen Welcome to it. I'll t- talk Africa. afterwards. Hope you enjoyed that too. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to, to me, that's strange because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but... What you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but, well, since then, and it it was a long time ago, but but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks, I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say, it's shaking a few things loose. Yeah, so I'm going to pause and talk. So I do agree to a certain extent with both of them. Both of them, they make very good points. But what I would like to add as well is like, um, what I've learned personally from my experience post-COVID and um, just generally in the last like six to eight months, well, to, to be honest, it's pretty more, it's probably a year, past year, is that like... Um, my, see, my parents are very hard believers of, you sh- if you stop looking for someone, someone will come along, they'll find you, you know, blah, 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 and, and that's what my parents always told me since I was little, like, you know, if you start looking, you're never going to find that person, but the second you stop looking, they're going to find you, but I, um, someone said to me re- very, very recently in the last six months that, like, it, it pertains to socialising, but it also pertains to um, love life as well, like, you need to put yourself out there in some shape or form because no one's going to be out there looking for you. Like, for example, that's right. This is one thing I said and think like if you live in Bright Falls, you do go and do your job, fine, whatever. And then that's it. But if you don't put you out there, someone's not going to be like, right, I need to find this person. For example, like Alan Wake, really into writing, isn't he? Obviously, really into novels. I, I like novels. I love reading and stuff like that. This person in Bright Falls is the person I want to be with right now. I'm going to go find them. But I live in Canada. No, it's not going to happen. You need to... What well, I believe, anyway, you need to put yourself out there to find someone. You know, join... If you like writing and like novels and stuff like that, join a book club. Or like me lego and like it literally says in my fucking bio like lego anime and cars so like join something that i like and that's how you'd meet people otherwise you're just not going to meet anyone because no one's going to be out there looking for you because they don't know you're there if that makes sense that's what that's what i believe anyway you can poop it or whatever but that's what i believe because like i said i've i've grown up in a household where my parents are like nah bruv you need to stop looking because you're going to find the wrong person because you're going to find a certain type of person. Like, my sister's a really prime example of this. I don't really talk about my family that much, but my sister's been through a slew of partners over the years. And that's because she's, she can't be alone. She has to be with someone. She's desperate like that. I won't say desperate, desperation. That's a bit too harsh. I'm a bit too critical of my sister, to be honest with you. It's more... I can't remember this pages, so I'm just going to have to try and find it it's more she doesn't like 
she likes the idea of being in a relationship, not so much being in love. So she's always picking the quote-unquote wrong person. But in reality, it's just because she going out and looking for a person, not what my parents say, waiting for someone to come to her, the right person that is looking for spe her, her specific... What are you doing? He did this last time as well. It's all like glitched. Her specific skill sets or attributes that they like. All right, so this one, if I remember, at the end of that conversation, it was very informative. Hopefully you listened and enjoyed it. If you didn't, cool, I don't care. I still put it in there. Put it in there originally. I put it in this one. So this one is going to be, no, I got rid of it. Fuck. I think this is it. I hope it is. Vermont. Spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look at the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Maude had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. I find that very creepy. Where he was like, you know, got any thumb. No. Think that's Hannibal? I could be wrong, but I think it is. Now I just get to my car. But there is loads of cars everywhere. It's just down here though. Can I like fall and not die? Yeah. Cool. So. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Lovely. So I don't know whether... Oh, there's a thing here. I picked it up. There's a... The... Coffee... Thermos. Coffee thermos. I don't know whether I, um... Will include... This? But... Just in case... This is that With one. Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Yeah. It's fucking not for anything good. Anyway. I have now got to replay this section all over again. So, you won't have to though, you, you will just get past Tom. So past Tom, take it away! Wow, well, lucrative at first, a mining steadily declined in a 20th century. This seems, this seems well, rich, but hard to get at. And a volcanic kind of activity in the area of the mine shaft is particularly dangerous. Okay, is this a museum? I think mean, you said this museum. What's this one? While there were some earlier residents in the area, the true genius of the town of Bright Falls came when found out of the Bright Falls Mine Company and opened out a Bright Falls coal mine in 1878. Although the work was hard and dangerous, many migrants, German, Poles, Italians, Finns, and Swedes, and uh, among others, worked in the mines. The mines of Bright Falls. Not more, I mean. So, like... Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. What's that? What's that? Is that like an effigy? Is that the right term? Effigy? I can't... I, 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 I don't know. Oh, a manuscript page. Checkpoint 2. Everything's popping off now. Yeah, true that. That guy fucking insane. That man fucking insane. Now I'm gonna take this liberty to tell you, as you can probably hear, it stops as I fucking carry on. Uh, the fireworks. There's fireworks because it's that time. There's my dog, because he hates fireworks. Dogs hate fireworks. Did you know that? So yes, I thought I'd pause and tell you that if you do hear fireworks in the background, it's because there's fireworks. You might be able to hear my dog because my dog is scared, and he spends time with the closest human, which happens to be me currently. <laughs> So I have a I have my dog with me. But that will not stop me playing the games. 
Uh, but yeah, that guy, that Nightingale is fucking crazy. Like, oh, even more cool. In the 1970s, a volcano erupted. Oh, my dog's off. Below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep minor in tunnels to caves. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity. And he's back in. All mining around Bradford has come to a final stop. Now the remaining buildings are protected by a historical landmark. Where are you? Come here. Where's you? I can't get to you if you're all the way over there. Ah, I do apologise. If you have dogs, you know my pain. It's already my pain. It's out of order, but it's my dog's pain. Cutscene, though. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. Was that was this is spot of my hope? It was all a waste of time. The this is Bruffles! showed up. Oh. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm gonna kill it! Man making bad decisions. I had to get to Mirror Peak. It was close, maybe closer than ever before. What? Can I go through the door still? How am I going to leave the building? Am I missing something? Oh. Cool. Hello? Housekeeping? Oh. There you go. Batteries. I am full on batteries. I'll take him shotgun bullets though. Full revolver. I'll just use a revolver then. Plane going over my house. Weird time for. Oh fuck. Weird time for a plane to be going outside my house, but. I am no judge. I'm just gonna shoot at. Okay, just in case. I don't want it to be a bear trap. It's not as much good page. That's fine. That's fine. Thomas Zane in love with Baba Jagger. We ain't got many left. Okay. I was like, oh, we ain't got many left. No, we have. We have. I'm being an idiot. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant, and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man. And without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. She was his muse. Okay. And then we're hit by fucking drowning music. Okay. 
Oh, revolver. They're like, yeah, if you don't have one, here's one. Am I going to do a boss fight? Because they give me a lot of revolver. Who's ah? Well, I saw you. Come on, boys! Come on, boys! Yeah, that's what I thought, boy. What I thought, boy. Chucking things at me, boy. That's exactly what I thought. I thought I'd just get runaway train. Cart. Oh my God. I just gotta like survive. Okay, it wasn't that bad. Legit, when they were giving me like that crater of um, oh flashback. Yeah, when they were giving me like that crater of ammo, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a boss fight. Flashback. They didn't kill that guy. Whatever. Stick the flares for a while then. This is a perfect time for like a Thelmas. One thing is annoying me. This game. It's just the sheer, like, Alan Wake of just... I don't know what that thing's doing. Put me off a bit. Yeah, the sheer, like, the fact that Alan Wake's running. Like, you can't run forever. Which I suppose is realistic, to a certain extent. Why did she go in there with that thing? Where are you? Oh, there's another one! Fucking fridge! Oh, that's a... Uh, not fridge. Fucking cooker! Coming after me! I mean the fireworks are stopped. I don't want to jinx it though. What the hell? What the... Where am I going to go? It's like a tornado. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping the fireworks will stop. Also, if my dog's taking me, I'm fine. He just like cuddles up to me and like, I'm scared, give me lovings. I'm like, okay, give me some head scratches. Give me some head scratches. The hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. So don't bother me. It bothers him. There'd be a car here, though. Well, that's gonna kill me. Ooh, checkpoint. That's never a good thing. So, obviously, I'll go full of the wires. Take a little drive. Be like, drive, Sally, ride. Look, look, baby. Pages, just run you over. Run, run, over. right away. Well, nearly hit that. Oh, is that a manuscript page up there? Looks like it's glowing. Maybe I missed it. Come on, boys. I'm gonna play the old game of ages past. 
still hitting a run. I knew there's another guy left. There you go. So what, boy? Don't you worry, girly. I could not see anything. Oh, no, it's strange. Hello. I hear you're in need of a house giver. Okay, reload. Do I really want to turn that off though? I don't think I do. And uh, just quick look. I don't think I see it like uh, it was over here somewhere, like under a train that I saw like a look like a manuscript page on that thing we was looking at when I was driving. But I couldn't see it, so I mean I can't see it like get to it. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a tough one, boys. Just like I thought, it would be a pitch bag. But getting this here car, hopefully not that. It's okay, I'm going to go. Come on, Carl. We're going for a level. Right now. But there's a lot of enemies. I do not think they want me to fight. I think it's because. Uh. Okay. We're gonna run. Ow. It's okay. I survived. It's fine. Boys, we turned the power off though. Didn't we? Hello? There's a sign outside that you says you're expecting a housekeeper. Oh, big boy. Oh no, we need flashbangs. Flashbangs. There we go. Come on, boys. I know you in that, boys. That's what I thought. Oof. Uh, well, I used my flashbang, but it didn't really do much. I was quite disappointed. It worked really well in the village and the village in the woods. When I was in that woods that time. Best thing a man could ask for. Wait, more people? Jesus. Can we just like leave this building now? Look at him, like, all the way back there. Come on. Why are you so fast, man? Why is there a bomb? Not bombs, like... Trust no one in the dark. 
I still hear fireworks, but I don't know if they're as bad. I've got to climb up. Lovely. Just what I needed. Fireworks and a doorbell. So where do I go now then? Oh. Ledda. Ooh. Nope, still more fireworks. Is that all good? Fire. It's all good. Ugh. Wake touched by the dark presence. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Oh, okay. I understand that. So they're saying... Uh, they're sort of saying instead of... It's a nice little seat, isn't it? Where's the... It's like coming from the moon. It's like a warm light. Anyway, um, sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, they, what they're saying is the reason they didn't, con you know, because we call them the quote unquote taken, the reason they didn't do that to wake is because they wanted his mind. Yeah, look, where's the wiring harness? I, I don't get it, man. Oh, what now? What now? Oh, a tree. Well, that's supposed to scare me. It, it didn't, though. Oh, mate, look, I was there earlier. I wanted them flashbangs. I'll take them flashbangs. Oh, da da da. Dearie, dearie me. Fireworks. Doorbells. Oh. My life. I can't get into this then. It's locked. Oh. Jump out the window. Maybe not. Oh. Cool. Ugh. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. What the fucking hell ripped through here? Oh, there's essence. Essences of it. Around there. Joke by Ridge Man. I was gonna say that place just looks dark. Oh, something in here missing. There you go, see that? Anything in here? What? Guys, guys, we've we've been through this. It, it, it don't work, lads. I'd say it once I say it again, you know what I mean? Flashbang out. Do you not get what that stands for? See? Flashbang out. Oh, how are you still alive, my boy? No. Oh, I didn't run into me. No, we're not having that now, boy. No, no, my wife. My watch is wild. No! Okay, back all the way here. I get it. There is no time for lollygagging. Oh, I'll go flip. Bam! 
what I'm talking about. For the big boys. They get the big game. Wow, wouldn't let me shoot him. That was weird. There we go. My dog is coming back. You can hear him because he's jingling, jangling. Jingle, jangle. And the boy now, dude, and bed, bam, bam. I cannot remember the word. I saw can actually. I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle, jingle, jangle. Ooh. Mate, my full New Vegas peeps understand that song in its ultimate star that it is. Wake and Barry in the I cell. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Yeah. Manuscript of a book. Which is, uh, man writes fictional uh, thingies, doesn't he? Fictional murder mysteries or H spy mysteries or whatever he writes. Crime thrillers? I don't know. Okay, I don't know what kind of right Alan Wake is, guys. I'm sorry. There's too many birds out here for my liking. Too many birds. No, I don't know where to go there. Or if I go up here. Let's just take a less of a smaller approach. And go up, yeah. Oh, see, I told you. What did I tell you? Exactly what I told you. Oh no no no! Oh, that was me. I was trying to rush it. I was being a knob. I'd take full blame. I'm trying to scar him. This shit. But it worked. It didn't work at all. We gotta go up to it really slowly. I'm probably sure the bats are probably supposed to scare me. Oof. No, no, I'm glitched. No, no. Okay, that's fine. I could go in there. Really? Why? Why you ever set up this stuff for it's a good idea that you're going to dark cavern? I can't even see what I'm trying to open. Okay, I'll take flashbangs. You know, flashbang. Flashbang out. <laughs> what is this, boys? Come on in. That's my fault. Yep, that's my fault. Now, did I waste that flare? Some say yes, some say no. But I survived. That is all that matters to me. I assume this is a checkpoint. Oh yes, please, please, please. Oh, thank you. Same shit, man. Lithium batteries and uh, pistol, pistoli. What is this stuff, though? Batteries, shotgun. They're like, get ready, boy. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. Well, if that wasn't enough. I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Hold down to switch pump action. Give me that pump action shotgun. Here 
hello. Oh, where, which way have I got to go? Let's just go this way. I always go the opposite. Hello. Yep. That's a smart choice, that. Thunder and lightning. Okay, no, that is the wrong way. The right way, sorry. Oh, come on. Mr. Wake. Jeez. Throw the flashbang. Throw the flashbang. Oh, man, I was like tapping that. I'll be back here as well. But I still got a shitty shotgun. I have. Okay, so we know this way is the place to go, so we can go this way. But that one. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Oh my god, it's gonna show me. Oh, mate. Please do not put me back at a checkpoint. You did. Why? I'm gonna take the flares. I'm just glitching, guys. There you go. <laughs> Leave me be. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, maybe more flashbangs. <laughs> Finally. Anyway. Excuse me. Oh, come on, Mr. Wake. Hurry the fuck up. Can I go back to his life at checkpoint? Oh, yes, I know. I just want a checkpoint. Yep. I'm not talking about. Leave me alone. Flash bangs. Stop fucking. I don't care. Just turn the light on. Fucking flashbang. See? That one harder. What was it? Mr. Wake. Hey. Checkpoint, please. Just what I wanted. Now I have no gripes. Cool. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Grapes. Was it going for Alice? Are these graves? I, I, I don't know how I feel about being graves. Okay. Um. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. I told you it was a graveyard. I see you, Mr. Boss, man. 
what light through yonder window. Ooh. Stop being Speedy Gonzalez. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just get shit out of me. I'm doing a very scary game. It's not a fun time. Why don't you just die? This is stupid now. See, my dog thinks it's stupid. Thank you. Jesus, that was so stupid. Was it supposed to be like a mini boss? I was gonna say I couldn't find the I couldn't find the entrance. Ah, lovely. Um, yeah, let's check it. I couldn't find like the entrance. Hello. I hear some uh, au pair jobs going. I understand that au pair is not just a housekeeper; it teaches kids, but still. Same premise, same similar job. Oh, that's blocked off. The place was dead, a ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. Nope. Nah, just kidding. Well, we'll go get away. Oh, here's the car. No, no. It's fine. I'll survive. Ugh. Like surprise, bitch. No. Let's go. What? It's just empty. Try and find a wall. Manuscript page. I think I found a thermos earlier. I've I legit, I must be like psychic or something. Go me, yeah. Waking Casey. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself, angry at Alice, angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Mate, I can't understand being angry at Barry. That man crazy. But why Alice? Barry was like, man, this girl Rose, she, 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 she got something special about her. Because that guy wanted to have some alone time with Rose. If you feel, feel, me, feel me. He did. Oh, God, he did. Oh. I was hoping I could go in there. I'll see if I'm... Oh, it's 8 eight. Oh, batteries. I don't need them now. We're well, on a flashbangs. No. I just like walked around it. This big thing. Well, I saw something shiny. Batteries in a random ass car. Ah. Has been touched in decades. Random ass batteries. Lithium batteries, mind. Just get when I'm like, um. Ones that you shake, you know, you can get like the torches that you shake. Anyone know what I'm on about? I'm not crazy. 
But once you have a thing as well, can't you get like a little spinny thing? Grinder? Grind, so grinder? So only thing I can think of is like a grind. It's not grinder, it's like a. You just turn it. Boss, big boss bat. Is it gonna be a trail? We're gonna fight. No, it's a fridge. We're gonna fight a fridge. Come on, fridge. That's what I'm talking about, fridge. Right, I got you now, stove. That's what I'm talking about. Come get me. I'm the Alan Wake man. Man, I knew it was gonna be the trial. Oh, the thing. Enjoy. No. Dodge them. I did try. I think it went very well there. But me in this game, isn't it? I did try. I don't think it went well there. Oh, really? <gasps> Checkpoint. Yeah. That's good. A proper dog. Some would save him pitch black though. No me though. Really? What now? How can I dodge that? I've died a lot in this part. I just realized that. Oh that is like a proper trade, isn't it? I'm just gonna stand here. Come on, get me now. Come on. Can you get me? Like Iron Horse. Stupid fucking train. Try to kill me. Oh, what's this? Key Bombs is we have some bombs. Do you know what? I, do you know what? I, I literally just thought in my head like, imagine if you could buy that. I bet you money if I just Google right now. John Wake, oh dear diner. I could probably find a thermos with the oh dear diner on it. Oh, it's quite a lovely little house. What's going on in it? Well, hello. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet and a good one. He writes yeah. of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things for my story. They ring true. They fit. Nope, no they don't. Checkpoint. Oh. Hunting rifle. Uh do you know what? I actually prefer the shotgun if I'm honest with you. Because I think it's got more ammo. Hunting rifle's alright. But I think I'd rather have flashbangs. Now you ask me for flashbangs, I'll take the flashbangs. Why are you killing trees, man? I know there's loads of trees. But you don't need to keep knocking them down.
I was just looking, I was like, what's going on? Why, why did you give me this there? And also give me a ladder. Yeah, it's one thing I haven't got in this game. It's like, the moon is out. Okay. Why, why no, uh... Oh. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. <laughs> spelling errors and insults. It's just, that sounds like a text from me, don't it? Hey. We're going to have flag on, flag on, flag on, flag on. I'm not stacked, my guy, though. Look. I got 21 shotguns, 42s. Birds. Go. Yo, birds. That did nothing. Go away. So I fall. To the mine. A mine. This is no mine. It's a tomb. Update there's still fireworks going on. My dog is still squirrely. It's all good. He's chilling. What's in there? Nothing good. It's quite peaceful in here, don't it? Tunnels. Oh, what the fuck? The Alan just... Oh. Reminds me of, um... Just the meme, just at part three. Alan! Hello. No, fuck off. I don't do whisperings. No. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. I still don't do whisperings, man. It's just. Doesn't fill my heart with fuck off. Oh, it's worse because I'm playing with headphones, so it's, it sends like shivers down my spine because it sounds like she's like behind me. No, she ain't, but you know. Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. What does that mean? Am I going the right way then? Alice? Alice? Oh, I just... Oh. Oh my. I'm losing it. I gotta get out of here. Oh. That just. Oh. Hunters. The hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. 
It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Thick set men. Oh, she stopped whispering now. Mate, seriously, that's in like that whole thing sent shivers down like straight from my head down my spine. All the way down to my feet, sees. I was like, oof, oof. And I got like a fucking what, four, five stone rock wilder? And I still sent some shivers down my spine. I don't know if he's five I don't even know how much he weighs. I just guessed. Oof. Another one. Two for two. Okay. More shit. What's this one then? Nightingale in the Magistrate. Even the Majestic. behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. The Majestic. Is that like the Great Northern? Anybody else? She can get my coffee. Ah! What are you doing, boy? Get out of it. Where are these people? Okay. People do to me. Trying to kill you, Mr. Wake. Oh. That's not something I can shoot. What's up here then? Nothing. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Maybe. Okay, so it's like the thing again, isn't it? Me. Yep. Wee. Wee. No oh, chip on. I haven't had chip on no more. Uh, I don't know whether to. Well, I can't jump it that way. A bit like that, right? No? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, I'm gonna die. No! Have to make my way Lisa didn't miss mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Maybe. What? Oh. No way. Which? Okay. So <laughs> I I totally forgot he was like behind me. Yes, this is Future Tom. 
literally my dog was barking for the next two minutes of this part slash interval slash session so I just cut the audio and I'm silently walking around the mazes of doing this lever um elevator thing cool dog spark especially on 5th of November when there's fireworks legit dogs hate fireworks Well, a seamless transition, but not really. Yeah, so I am now future Tom. Past Tom has done this part, and I've had to replay this part all over again because checkpoints, no manual saving. But it doesn't matter. Just only changes. I don't have that much p torch power, and I have a rifle instead of a machine gun. Uh, just a shotgun. Because this one hit, ko one hit KOs normal enemies. And two hit KOs, the big knobbers, big knob bastards. So, I think it's new now. We're back to newness. None of this is repeats. We're back to newness. There's, are they? I've got flare guns as well. I've got a lot of flare gun, which is strange. New, no, I didn't have that last time. But yeah, all newness. All back to the new, back to that new new. And awakings. It's only problem when the because this I think it did it anyway. So even if I wanted to record it, I would have to go back and do that whole part again. Is when you like because uh, it has checkpoints and there's not no manual save. It's just checkpoint. Uh, when like you turn off your PlayStation or like me sometimes. Tor hits Nurse Sinclair. Whoa, why would you hit a nurse? Um, it just takes you back to the checkpoint. It's Lightning annoying. flash behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. <laughs> nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Mulnair, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. <laughs> I saw it and it made me laugh. I love how he says it, it's not. It says it's, it says it differently. I think because we're so used to the way they say it on MCU, aren't we? Mjolnir. 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 I don't know. Hammer. Because he's supposed to be the the they're the band, aren't they? Old gods of Asgard. Du, du. Birds is. Go away. Go away. Stupid birds. You can't have ma. That's awesome. One thing I do hate in this game, which I'm not now, is the running. The running is so bad. He runs like a 50 year old man. Not even like the Arnold Schwarzenegger kind. Another cable car. Just, just literally crazy. runs terribly. Oh, that's gonna be fun, isn't it? Just low key nearly fell off. Birds? Birds. Maybe not. Just gonna chill? Chilling like a villain? No, I hear birds. Oh, 
Fuck you, bitches. What are the fucking blazes? Don't get me. I was gonna say, yeah, look, the flares are like glitching, they're not actual like staying. That's so weird. See? They're like moving. Oh. Oh. Go, go faster. Uh. Damn you fucking Oh my god What are you doing? Nah no, we ain't playing that game Get away Forgot I had the flare gun equipped Back to the rifle Why are you killing the trees man? What did the trees do to you ghost? Piss off ghost yeah, this place is like a circle. It's, cool. it's like a, a, a lot of freaking circle. What the fuck did he just drop that from the sky? Why? What are you trying to do to me? I mean, you know, I think all the batteries. Once in my life, I need batteries. He looks so close, about to fall off. Oh look, cans. I read an achievement about these. So, I think you ought to shoot them. I don't know what they do. I think I've shot like two. That being my second one. I've got some rifle. We play no game. I hear bad guys. That come from behind me. Hello, guys. As you know, why are they so fast, man? Bam your face. See, one hit kill. Bitches get stitches. I fault, bitch. Anyway, give me my rifle, rifle ammo. Yeah, this part's going up, going on for ages, man. This has got to end sometime soon. We're still on episode three. BAM! We play him in. Get stitched. Where's your bra? Come on. Speedy, there you are. There's another one, I see him. Nah, we ain't playing them games. What I thought. See, this thing fucking kills, man. Chaboo! Oh, give me some home rifle, I'll take some flares, and I'll take some batteries. Cauldron Lake. The eighth deepest lake in the world. Cauldron Lake is a caldery lake. What? Oh, formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano, volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcano earthquakes of 1970. And even then, the underground activity was comparatively mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. Conjurek is one of the most beautiful spots in Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many lo local folktales. It's a popular recreation area for, for the area residents. Yeah. Is that what our music's changed? Mango checkpoint. Giant fan animal manuscript page. Yeah, I can't remember last time I found a manuscript page. Oh, it was that dude in the hammer. We're good. Why can't I run? 
Why can't I run? What are you doing? I can add it one at a time in a moment. Fuck. Fuck it. So I'm talking about. Well, there's no one behind me. Just this little fuck. Nobody be touching Alan Wake today. Not today, Zerg. Chaboot. Oh. Like I look back, I wasn't gonna look back. Turn not the back. Turn not to me. What we going here then? Flare guns. Thank you. Eleven. Eleven. Flat gun. Boule. And the bridge is out. There's a page. Hopefully there's no more. I don't really want to search. Thank you. What is this one? Mott at Cauldron Lake. Mott had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them. And the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Well, gets me though. So that dude is basically he's like, oh, I'm just gonna fucking do this, man, because he's got money, probably. Yet he doesn't find it suspicious that they weren't at their cabins, but they're at Cauldron Lake. And like, like they're saying, there's a, massive rumors about this Tom Zane, Thomas Zane, whatever his name is. Like, surely you'd be like, nah, man's out of this. Because I would. You'd be like, if someone's like, well, they disappeared, and then, but they're at my, that cauldron, cauldron lake, and he was like, dude was unconscious, you would have gone, nope. I would have gone, nope, the hell out of there. Well, I wouldn't have done it anyway. Because, like, what you, the writing's presuming is that. He wanted that woman. He liked what he saw. Go on. Cool, can I go downstairs? I probably am, because I can't go back up, see? So I probably played myself. Tom Tom. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. Tom, you talk to me on TV, Tom. Oh, this is so weird because my name. Cause you know what I'm saying. Oh. I miss you, Tom. Tom. Nah, nah, let me out, let me out. What was that? Oh, I got goosebumps. Well, we've got a checkpoint. Oh. I should have checked that. <gasps> what? What just happened? I 
And so I should have checked outside more. Oh, flares. Hello? Housekeeping? This is one of these games that you just doesn't. But I suppose. <gasps> Oh. They're like, we're gonna fuck you, boy. Come to my house. Get paid for a nail. I got like 10 of these. I'm just gonna be popping off. Come on, big man. That's what I thought. King of the mountains. I am king of the mountains. And I still have eight flare gun bullets. So I'm talking about. Could do some parkouring. <laughs> Well now. <clears throat> Creep fucking house. I was looking at the time while running and I didn't see the thermal thing till last. I bet there's one here as well. So I didn't really check the area. I was just like, oh look, look at this. Look at this little attic. <laughs> could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was oh, a yeah, near Cold it. And Lake. it had to be a boat. I haven't been back there yet, have we? Well, apart from the first episode. Ooh, many men off scrap bridge. I was close now. I had to get there fast. God, my dog. I dreaded what I would find. Wake wakes up in Deloge. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. What? Really? Is that that's that dude, isn't it? The one with the book. He punched in the face. So he's been a patient for a while now. But when I spoke to him, he was like, "Well, no, I spoke to your wife, but oh, it was the first time I'm meeting you." So, hmm. Wait, are you? Wait. Hey, I'm here. I'm coming. Where is he? I can't see him. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Oh, wow. We just said we had her to make him play ball. You see, you see? We got a writing for us. Please. Please. Oh. Where is he? Oh! No, nah, not the bench. Not the bench. Can I swim? 
That's the question. Oh my god. <laughs> That's that doctor, isn't it? Oh, mate, I was telling you, we've been doing this for so long. I think this is like the longest chapter so far. Please, no music. Wheels within wheels. Yeah, that guy's Saint Louis boss, didn't he? We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. Episode four: The Truth. Alan, shh, baby, it was just a nightmare. Uh huh. I love how he's still got the stick, uh, stick up blast on his nose. Very important that you stay calm. I don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're, you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bad. It's okay. <laughs> Bad. I hear you. <laughs> Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Man, someone I was this. watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. This is heavily Twin Peaks for survive. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. What's the point? Let me out. The door was locked. Let me out. I was a prisoner here. Thank you for watching that video. As I said, I'm recording a new intro because Shocktober has ended. Shocktober Encore has ended. But if you enjoyed this video, please click the link here to the other old Shocktober video, which is a playlist, which is going to be Evil Within, and click this one here to subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and please comment. I love comments. So thank you for watching, and enjoy. Alan Wake.